Um, I've done art as long as I can remember. I love the process of making it, and then I especially love, you know, the pride of sharing it with other people. Um, I am not tied down to any one medium, so I've had, you know, a lot of fun this week. Uh, this art piece is called Solidarity. It kind of shows all the emotions coming out of the chair, which are the shadows. Essentially, they all bunch up into like a complicated kind of web outside of the painting and it just shows that a person just can be really complicated in the inside. Uh, my name is Natasha and this piece is called The Lonely Fish and so the background I got it back very colorful and it reminded me of a coral reef and so with the bubbles and everything in the background I decided to paint a fish using the same colors in the background and so that ended up with this piece. This piece is called Alfred the Frog. It was inspired by Brody Jim, my old work, as well as my friend's work, Jim Bros. Um, it was done in collaboration with the writing crew, and it was a lot of fun. I made a lot of people laugh, and um, I really enjoyed my experience, and I think my partner in writing really liked it. For this piece, uh, although it wasn't what I originally wanted to do, it turned out this way, and I decided to like take a turn for it and show how there was a lot of pollution going on in our society today so you can kind of see it right here with like the ship and the industrialized scenery i've always liked drawing and building airplanes and in this painting uh, it depicts a blackbird in two forms one uh, a literal bird and another an airplane called the sr-71 blackbird uh, humanity has always tried uh, replicating flight through biomimicry, and I tried to replicate that uh, in this uh, painting by combining man or machine and nature. Uh, I think this piece was really interesting, trying to come up with inspiration from sort of the works and styles of four different people. And at the end of the background section, since there's two separate styles, I think, I tried to make a sort of bird that would go across the two styles. This is my piece called Money, Money, Money. It is um, an amalgamation of kind of a bunch of my partners and I doing the background. And I started with dollar signs on the first layer, and then I wanted to end it with dollar signs and the money man, the monopoly man, on the last layer. And I kind of just like the chaos of it. So this piece was really fun to make and to see how um, it, our piece basically changed after we rotated and let other people add to it. And I decided to go with the heaven and hell theme because I came out with like a darker side over here and a lighter side over here. And the googly eye is basically the biblically accurate angel. My name is Maya. And my name is Samara. And this is the collaborative creative writing and visual arts piece that we created together. And I created my creative writing piece. I switched from visual to creative writing temporarily to tell a short story about a student transitioning to life during college, and I created this piece to sort of let the audience know how it feels to be isolated and away from home, and this relates to the piece Samar creates in a metaphorical sense. And my sketch relates because I have an abandoned egg that is alone and isolated away from the already accomplished hatched eggs. This piece is called Carolina Calamari, and it represents how we each have a monster inside all of us. But if we learn to love each part of ourselves, then it can be turned into something delicious, like calamari. So for my piece, I got a very playful background with like many like symbols of like devil, like horns and devil tails. So for my character, I chose to do something that also reflected that playful and like devilish nature and played around with like the overall colors of like pink and blue, which were more like vibrant and happy. This is my piece called Monstera. Um, the background is abstract and it's made with acrylic paint by myself and four other people. 
and the subject is two monstera leaves, which is my favorite plant. Hello, I'm Lance, and I did a painting um, inspired by Basquiat. Uh, I did a nature type painting um, showing a bear, um, young eyed man who refuses to run away, hence the run stay. And on the side, it says bear necessities. This piece is called Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds, and it is the result of a collaborative effort with a member of the creative writing team. It is an exploration about the transition from high school to college and how it means leaving your childhood behind and transitioning into adulthood. Oh, <laughs> 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 <laughs>